pass this through third reading of the House of Commons. It's had first reading in the Senate at this point in time. And I'm not foreseeing any problems moving forward in the Senate. Uh, the Senator uh, Finley has taken over the uh, as the sponsor in the Senate. We're hoping to have this by the end of the year so that it can actually get royal assent. Well, one of the things that I'm advocating as I go around Alberta, this is my fourth stop in Alberta this year, uh, talking about freedom of speech, protecting freedom is the name of my bill. And I'm telling people about Section 3 in Alberta. A lot of people don't know about it. Right here in our province, a province uh, founded on the Cowboy Code, the Code of the West, uh, we have Section 3 that has some of the most egregious cases of freedom violations coming from uh, the Alberta Human Rights Commission. I'm asking people to go on my website at www.bryanstorset.ca. I have a petition that you can download, talk to your friends, talk to your neighbours, and uh, hand the petition into your local MLA, your local member of parliament. Tell them it's important. Tell them the freedom of expression is important to you. And uh, let's try to get some movement. Well, the first thing we need to do is focus on, as you were talking about earlier, getting rid of Section 13, getting it all the way through. Uh, the next thing we need to do, and I believe, is to get it out of our provincial jurisdictions. You know, these are things that uh, you, know, you kind of bite off a piece at a time so that you can do it and do it right. And if you bite off too much, you fail in doing it. So I think the next step is focus on Section 3 here in Alberta. There's people in Ontario set focusing on their section, the same as in BC and other provinces. And if we can uh, do this right on uh, the hate speech provisions right across the country, that's the next best step. And then we go from there. You know, the great part about this is I've been working on this for five years. The, the national media really has had a dialogue with Canadians for the last five years and emphasized to Canadians the problems with this. It's made it easier for me and actually made it possible for me to get success in the House of Commons with my colleagues like Rob Merrifield. So we need to make sure we get this done right now and then we can look at the next step after that. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, organizations like ARPA. I'd like to thank Canadians that believe in freedom, that have uh, fought for it, that have, uh, you know, some of them have been subjected to uh, some egregious cases here and, and given up some of their natural rights as Canadians. And without some of that suffering, we wouldn't uh, have the public knowledge that we have now. And it's important that when we do get this done, I believe we will be successful. It's important that we never again give up our fundamental freedoms to the bureaucracy and to government. That is ours as Canadians to protect and defend and to decide on, not somebody else. And we can never give those powers over to the bureaucracy because it will only be abused and expanded at that point in time. So I just want to thank everybody for their hard work and dedication. You know, people have said to me, okay, we got Section 13, you know, it's a huge win, we're done. We're not. We're only part way there. We need to make sure that our, our home provinces also repeal their sections and we can continue this fight.